we were actually talking, and I we I, we we've covered that earlier, all 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 of that, and. Let me know when to refresh that. Um, Jeffrey Schneider on the left, along with goalie Vera Urbanovic on the right. Or sorry, in the goal. And then on the right we have uh, Tony and Lotus Chespro, of course. Tony Spredeman, Lotus Chespro. It's an open. This is a mixed doubles match, winners bracket. Um, but the question earlier was, what about Tony? What's he going to think about the lights? This, that, and the other. And what I said then is what happened. I, I went down and was, um, I w went to the restroom, came back, get a drink of water, blah, blah, blah. Came into the tournament room, saw Tony, said, hey, what's going on? We were chit-chatting. And uh, I asked him if he, nice shot there, by the way, push shot by Schneider. Um, I asked Tony if he'd seen the lights yet on table one. He said, well, yeah, I saw it. I heard about it. And I said, just so you know, all your timeouts are going to be 30 seconds long and your in-between games are going to be nine, 90 seconds long. That light stays red the whole time. And he says, what if we don't want to wait the whole time? I said, well, not optional. <laughs> and then I told him, I said, do you know why? I said, do you, do you know why we have it like that? And he didn't, obviously, because this is the part we really hadn't said a whole lot about. But that's where we do our replays. We do our, we, we run our ads. And mostly it's a thing for if we start an ad, if we run an ad that's 30 seconds long, the play needs to hold for 30 seconds. Every sport and all of sports does that. And so we're just implementing that here. If, if it's a 30-second timeout, nice pass there, by the way, by Vera. Up to Jeffrey Schneider setting up the push shot again. He sprayed that first one quite a bit. I'm wondering if he can square it off. Tries to go inside here. Sprays that one to the far side. It's 2-2. Two to two. If they call a timeout, it's a 30-second timeout period. It's like that in every sport. They don't, except for maybe baseball. No sport just allows the players to dictate when the timeout is over. So, there we go. And Tony is on board, and actually the first thing he asked was, well, I won't say the first thing he asked, because that's personal. Not really, but it is business. Uh, but the second thing he asked was, can I, can I, can I do one? <laughs> so, yeah, sure, of course. So look for look for one from Tony. Probably about the uh, TS wraps. Maybe tomorrow. I was just curious. I am from Tampa, and I know Tony. Nothing against him, but I was just wondering if you gave him the heads up. Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, no, I know. I I think, and I I include you in that when I say that I think people. I don't think people really get Tony the way that they that that they think they do. And I, I mean, I, I can't speak for you, so I'm not saying anything there. Um, I think, I think people have experiences with with Tony that really heavily colors their opinion, for better and 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 for worse. So, my experience with Tony has said that he's he's down with what we're doing. Before I even talked to him, I knew that. Uno momento. So all the homies out there. A little tech stuff going on here. People said the same thing about Brandon Munoz. Oh, he likes to play fast. He's not going to like that. Okay. Well, he loves it. Hmm. I don't know why that's. What if I change it to right? Let's change this. Okay, reverse. Timeout by Jeffrey Schneider. It is four four in game one. This is what's funny about when you're the best. Tony's just chilling. He's just chopping it up with his teammate. Who knows what they're talking about? Not a super big moment for them, 4-4. They do want to score. So I'm not saying they're discounting how important this goal is, but also just kind of chilling. And when you're on that side of the table, you have a chance to beat Tony Sprademan. 
and Lotus Chesbro. Kind of a big deal. And I think they might feel that. There we go. We're good on the overlays. With a chance to win here, Jeffrey Schneider setting up in the win the first game, that is, setting up in the push shot position. Doesn't quite square it off. And there we go. And Lotus can score from the back. She sends it up the table on go. Tony tries to catch it. Not able to. Tony looking to stuff that one. Almost does it. Gets it on his five. Blocked right back to Schneider's three bar. Funny how we were just talking about worrying about the red light and the first time out didn't happen. Not yet. We also had some tech things we're working on with the uh, with the overlay. And you're right, it didn't happen that first time. And we're not going to push the timeout button in the middle of the ball because <laughs> it won't go well. But just know that there's only one timeout on the left side of the table. That's a wrap. First game goes to Tony Sprademan and Lotus Chesbro on the right side of the table. All right, there we go. Game two. Just about to be underway here. It's the open mixed winner's bracket match between Jeffrey Schneider and Ur Vera Urbanovich versus Tony Sprademan and Lotus Chespro. Tony and Lotus up one game to nothing here in this winner's bracket match. Fifth place or better. Shot there from Tony. Tony doing what Tony do. That is one nothing for Tony and Lotus. I would like to know, and there's no way to know this, but I, I, you know, if I could just like, Jeannie in a bottle comes down and says, hey, what are the, what, what's something you want to know? And I'm not saying that this would be at the top of the list, but it's on the list. I want to know how many five bar passes through the lane Tony has completed in his life. It's got to be somewhere in the neighborhood of a bazillion, right? Snyder setting up this push shot. Nice push shot. It's quick and snappy. It's got a lot of spray on it. He is he is seriously, that is not square at all. It doesn't have to be, clearly. But he is sending it out there from about the big dot to the long haul on that yellow three bar. And watch where he lets go of this. Trying to go straight there. He doesn't really have a stroke that's going to allow for a lot of straight. Not that I see, at least. Tony tapping to the middle, going back out to the push side. It's three to one. Tony and Lotus versus Vera and Jeffrey. And I just don't. I don't think that that stroke. I don't think you can hit a stro straight like that. I don't think that that stroke allows for the straight. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. Now he's going to set up the pull shot. Talking to Tony earlier, he was saying that these balls are really fast. And again, just spraying it out to that post. If he squares that at all, that's a goal. Speaking of goals, square left hook. Tony sprayed him. I actually think the best part of the lights is that people won't be taking longer on their timeouts be between games since it's clear that their time is up, but actually do a great job making tournaments run with table one and all the master duels. Yeah, I think... I agree with that in theory. 
I don't think there's a. I think the big delay is actually in getting people to the table. I don't think the ten, the, the few seconds here and there. Tony's frustrated about how that went down. Um, I don't think the 30 seconds here and there on the timeouts really causes the delays. I think calling a match at 1 o'clock and they show up at 115 or 125 or whatever. I think that's where the bigger delays are. Schneider again going for that slingshot. Nice shot on go by Lotus Chespro. And that's a wrap. In two straight games, Lotus Chespro and Tony Sprademan defeat Jeffrey Schneider and Vera Urbanovich.